Welcome to another video. Um, I have two recipes um, in one video for you this time. And I did it using a one pound log, is what I call them, of Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. Um, you can use any breakfast sausage you want, just one pound. Um, and I just, I had this in my freezer for a couple of months. I, I don't know when I bought it or whatever. Um, it was a few months ago. Um, so I wanted to make something um, that would kind of stretch into one thing um, using similar ingredients if I had them. And I had a lot of potatoes to get rid of. Um, I had some eggs I needed to get rid of. Um, so the first dish I made was a sausage, pepper, and onion frittata. Um, with some cheese in there. Um, Mike and I had that for breakfast. It was really good. Um, we had it with some hash browns. Um, I had it with the Hungry Jack hash browns. I just happened to have um, some in my pantry. Um, I My Walmart doesn't sell those anymore, so I don't know if they're just out of them or not, but if you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, and then I also made a sausage, potato, broccoli, cauliflower soup. Um, and that again, we just needed to clean out some veggies. Um, and I put a little bit of cream in there, um, a little corn um, flour slurry. Really good soup. Um, we like our soup thinner, which I'll go over in the recipe. Um, but if you wanted a thicker soup, you could definitely make it a thick soup. Um, and then I also made some bread to go with the soup, and I will show you that in a different video. Um, the bread turned out really good. Um, so here's the two recipes and if you haven't subscribed, please do so below. See you in the next video. So I have one pound of sausage that I'm just going to brown up and I'm going to dice up a quarter of an onion that I had in my fridge and one bell pepper. Um, here's the meat cooking. Um, don't drain off the grease. You're going to want to use that grease um, to cook your peppers and onions in. Um, it will just give a really nice flavor um, without having to add a lot of seasoning. So I went ahead and drained that on some paper towels and then I went and had and cooked the veggies um, in the skillet with the grease. Um, and to that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And of course, Zumba is supervising um, while I do all of this just to make sure it tastes really good. Um, so this is just it cooking. I'm gonna use it for the soup and for the frittata and I have my oven heating to 350. Um, for the frittata I took eight eggs. Um, I took about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream um, and then I also added in some shredded cheese, probably about a cup of shredded and sharp cheddar. You can use whatever cheddar you like of course, or not cheddar, cheese you like. <laughs> and then uh, here's just the frittata when I'm mixing it up. So I have the eight eggs, some salt and pepper in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add half of that meat and half of those veggies um, as well to this. This is that Hungry Jack hash browns I was talking about. Um, if you guys know where they sell these, let me know, Walmart doesn't have them anymore. Um, really like these they have a good flavor you just rehydrate them and then saute them in some oil um, really good um, so here's the frittata mixture um, just mix that up pour it into um, this is I believe a nine by five um, baking dish and I did spray it make sure you spray it with some kind of oil um, eggs really like to stick when you cook them um, so just make sure you go ahead and spray that down this is what's left for our soup mixture, so we're going to start on that um, as well while the frittata is cooking. So I went ahead and made some broth um, for my soup. We've been using this instead of um, boxed broth. It's cheaper and it's pretty much the same thing if you look at the ingredients um, as a box of broth. So we've been using this. It's much cheaper um, and it makes actually a really nice broth. So um, they sell this at Walmart. Okay, I have six potatoes that I peeled and I'm going to dice up and put them in the crock pot. And here's the rest of my sausage, peppers, onions, potatoes. And I'm going to dump some broth in here. So I went ahead and added two bay leaves to my broth. 
Um, I also added about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and about a tablespoon of garlic powder as well just to season it. And then I went ahead and cooked this on low for six hours. And this is what the frittata looked like when it came out of the oven. I cooked it for about 40 minutes um, at 350. Um, just, you know, all ovens are a little bit different. Check it. We like our eggs a little bit softer. Um, this reheats really well. Um, and then here's the hash browns I made, just sauteed in a pan with some oil. And then this is our breakfast. Um, this is a great breakfast to have if you just want something nice. So there's about an hour left on this soup. I'm going to open it up and smash some of the potatoes. Um, and I'm gonna, I have some cut up broccoli and cauliflower that I want to use. So I thought that would be really good in there. We just try to eat a lot of veggies and this is a great way to use up some veggies we have. So I just added in some broccoli and cauliflower. I'm going to let it cook on low, probably another hour. And then it can kind of sit in there. I don't want it to, the broccoli and cauliflower to get too mushy, but I'm going to puree a little bit of this. Um, I like to have some texture in my soup, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. That's why I waited um, to put the broccoli and cauliflower in between the last hour or so. Okay, it's been about an hour since I put the um, cauliflower and broccoli in there. This actually smells so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little cornstarch slurry to thicken it up a little bit. Um, so I have about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Um, and I, did, I don't use water. I'll just use some of this broth. Um, and I'll put it in here, get it going, and I'll put it in the soup, stir it around so it has, it won't shock the soup, then it will also thicken up the soup for a little bit as well. So I stirred that in. I took the bay leaves out, um, and I'm going to use my immersion blender and just zhuzh it a little bit, just so it gets a little creamy. I'm going to let it cook for another 30 or 40 minutes, just because I'm making some bread, and then I'm going to put some cream in it just to make it like really silky and delicious. Okay, I just blitz it up for a bit. I do like chunks in my soup, so I don't want to let it. I don't want to get rid of all the chunks because I like chunks. But you can make it as smooth as you like. And I'm just going to taste the seasoning now and then I'm going to let it go for another 30 or 40 minutes and then I'll put some cream in it and make it really um, nice and good. So I dumped about a cup of heavy cream in here. Um, I just stirred it up. You can add some cheese too, but I'm just going to add cheese to the top of my soup. I'm going to let this cook for about 20 minutes and then... It will be time for dinner. Finally, time for dinner. This is a soup. This is thick enough for me. We like brothy soup here, but if you wanted it thicker, you could add more cornstarch slurry, or you could use less broth, but again, we really like broth soups like this. So it tastes really good. I already tasted it, so I'm gonna dig in. And this is dinner. Um, this is really good, you guys. If you want a crock pot soup, um, definitely give this a try. Lots of veggies um, and warming. Thanks for tuning in and hope you subscribe. See you soon.